How great is the pressure on President Biden to make a move? It's intensifying, that's for sure. Over the past 24 hours, he had a really rough 24 hours, not to mention that uh, the White House came out and said he tested positive for COVID-19. It is not just Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer going to Rehoboth Beach over the weekend telling him, we think you need to step aside, or the fact that Hakeem Jeffries as well, the House Minority Leader saying to the president, if you stay in this race, this is going to hurt down ballot. This might mean we can lose the House. But then you have former Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, according to CNN, according to Politico, also having a direct conversation with the president saying, look, your polling shows that this is going to be uh, a loss against former President Donald Trump, and you are going to really uh, ruin the ticket for House members. So these are three top Democrats. Now, they're not saying this publicly, although if you read their statements of denials, these are not exactly straightforward denials to the press that these conversations took place. But what you are seeing is top three Democrats, especially Speaker Pelosi, who's very close to the president, telling him directly, face to face, that we think you need to step aside. Now, the president is now isolating. He's back in Delaware. And I think the next few days, we should note who he is meeting with. Is there going to be a family powwow? And could this potentially, could he heed these calls and step aside? At the moment, though, it does sound like he is defiant. When you ask the White House what is going on, they say, this is his race. He's sticking with it. He has the delegates. And he will be on the ticket November 5th.